Shri Prabhupada. Oh Madhava, Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord of the Goddess of Fortune, if devotees completely in love with you sometimes fall from the path of devotion, they do not fall like non-devotees, for you still protect them. Thus they fearlessly where is it fearlessly? Near by now. Thus they fearlessly traverse the heads of their opponents, Muradashu, the heads, and continue to progress in devotional service. Purport. Devotees generally do not fall down, but if circumstantially they do, the Lord, because of their strong attachment to Him, gives them protection in all circumstances. Thus, even if devotees fall down, they are still strong enough to traverse the heads of their enemies. We have actually seen that our Krishna consciousness movement has many opponents, such as the, quote, deprogrammers, who instituted a strong legal case against the devotees. We thought that this case would take a long time to settle, but because the devotees were protected by the Supreme Personality of Godhead, we unexpectedly won the case in one day. That's probably... None of you are old enough to remember that case, but I certainly remember. Thus, a case that was expected to continue for years was settled in a day because of the protection of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who was promised in Bhagavad Gita 9.31, Pantea Prajani Name Bhakta Panashuti. O son of Kunti, declare it boldly that my devotee never perishes. There are many instances of devotees, like Chitra Ketu in Virginia and Maharaj Bharat, who circumstantially fell down, but were still protected. Maharaj for example, because of his attachment to a deer, thought of a deer at the time of death, and therefore in his next life he became a deer. Yam yam bhapis ram bhavam tvajajantekaribam. Because of protection by the Supreme Personality of God, however, the deer remembered his relationship with the Lord, and next took birth in a good Brahminical family and performed devotional service. Suchi nan shri matam gehe yoga rasta Similarly, Chitraketu fell down and became a demon, Mitrasura, but he too was protected. Thus, even if one falls down from the path of Bhakti Yoga, one is ultimately saved. If a devotee is strongly situated in devotional service, so strongly situated in devotional service means you're very much in love with Krishna. So if a devotee is strongly situated in devotional service, the Supreme Personality of Godhead has promised to protect him. Anteya Pratijanihi, Naume Bhaktiya Pranashtiti. Second time, probably said that. But even if a devotee circumstantially falls down, he is protected by Madhava. The word Madhava is significant. Ma, Mother Lakshmi, the mother of all opulences, is always with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And if a devotee is in touch with the Supreme Personality of Godhead, all the opulences of the Lord are ready to help him. Yatra Yogeshwara Krishna, Yatra Parto Dhanur Dara, Tatra Shri Vijayo Bhutir, Dhruva Nittir Matir Mama. Bhagavad 18.78, wherever there is a Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna and his devotee Arjuna Partha, there is victory, opulence, extraordinary power, and morality. The opulences of the devotee are not the result of karma, kanda, vichara. A devotee is always protected by all of the Lord's, the Supreme Lord's opulences, of which no one can deprive him. Tesha, nitya, yoga, What does that mean? Yeah, the devotee has carries what he lacks. Thus, a devotee cannot be defeated by any opponents. So, why cannot a devotee not be defeated? Because a devotee is always protected by the goddess of fortune, by Radharani, by Lakshmi. All right. Sounds pretty good, right? A devotee, therefore. So, what do we do with this knowledge? A devotee, therefore, should not deviate knowingly from the path of devotion. The Krishna will protect us on your circumstantial deviations. Prabhupada's conclusion, a devotee, therefore, should not deviate knowingly from the path of devotion. The adherent devotee is assured all protection from the Supreme Personality. 
Oh, Madhava, Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord of the Goddess of Fortune, if devotees completely in love with you sometimes fall from the path of devotion, they do not fall like non devotees, but you still protect them. Thus, they fearlessly traverse the heads of their opponents and continue to progress in devotion. All them is this. What do the demigods mean here? Rashanti Markad, they fall from the path. And Prabhupada's explaining with three examples. What are the three examples that he gives? And Bharat. And he doesn't explain Chitrajuna in the purport, but Chitraketu, Indrajuna, and Bharat. Now, I think that we could safely say, I think I can pretty safely say that probably all of us in this room have been put in circumstances where our devotional service feels very difficult, where we have some kind of impediment, either some internal impediment or some external impediment. Uh, we may become sick, we may be in poverty, we may have some family member who's opposing our Christian consciousness, we may have some difficulty getting along with other devotees. There may be something that makes our devotional service difficult, that apparently uh, we're not in an ideal situation in Krishna consciousness. So this is considered a kind of fall down when it's not situated in an ideal circumstance. Because if we look at the kinds of fall downs of these three devotees, that's what happened. In fact, Indra had to take birth as an elephant, right? And Bharat had to take birth as a deer. And Chitraketu had to take birth as a demon. So those bodies are not exactly very favorable for spiritual life, are they? I think that whatever unfavorable circumstances we've had to contend with in this life is not equivalent to being an elephant or being a deer 